Good morning, everyone. Happy energy reading. So good to see you. I'm Terry. Welcome back to another day, yet again, of being human. I guess the sun came up today. <laughs> At least out here in LA. I'm still a little slow. Had a bit of a late night. But here, present, ready to take an energy temperature read for everyone to see just how today might progress, how it might move forward, what the potentials and possibilities might be like today, but also knowing that you have your God-given gift of free will, which you can choose your way through the rest of your days to actually create your own reality. So nothing I say is ever set in stone. And since this is a general reading and I'm reading for all y'all, not just one individual person, that does mean that some of this information may not resonate with you. So take what does, toss what doesn't. And if you would like a more personal, more private reading, please feel free to book one with me at terryhuberman.com. Just click on the book a reading section, find what you like and boom. It's right there. So I've got my cards. I haven't seen them yet. Let's do a reveal, shall we? And see what today could be and what the implementation tool is to help us navigate our way better, easier, and hopefully more comfortable today. Ready for the reveal? Here we go. We have four diamonds. El Cotorro, which I think we had, was it yesterday or the day before? El Cotorro. Music. All of a sudden, I got the Madonna song in my mind. Music makes the people come together. And star. Yeah. Star. Okay, so we have star, music, El Cotorro, and four diamonds. This is the energy that we are working with today. So let me put this puzzle piece together for you and see what today could be like. While there is manifestation again, I mean, or I should say there's the potential. Mm. Today we actually, um, today we can announce to ourselves or make an announcement to ourselves that we're doing it finally. It's like, we're gonna put our foot down today. That's what it is. A lot of us are kind of tired of making promises to ourselves that we're not keeping. You understand this? So today's a day where a lot of us are like, that's it, I'm doing it. I always say I'm gonna do it and I don't do it. Today I'm doing it. So today is a lot about follow through for what you are saying you're gonna do. Um, it's putting your mouth where your money is, right? It's saying what you mean and meaning what you say. It's really easy to um, say something in the heat of the moment and then not stick to it. But today's about sticking to it. And really, today's a really good day because it's almost like, it, okay, so it feels like it can be a challenging day because it's like your ugly, honest self, like you're getting to your deep inner core, it's coming up, right? All of these issues are bubbling up and it's like by you declaring to yourself, you're also declaring to the universe because the universe loves to meet us halfway, if not more than halfway, it's like us saying, okay, I'm going to stop bullshitting myself right now and I'm going to go through and if I've got this goal, I'm just going to make it more general. If I've got this goal that I'm working towards, I'm tired of wishing and wanting it. I'm actually going to take steps to, to get there and implementations and I'm just going to start doing it and I'm declaring it to myself. I'm sick and tired of the way that I'm being and I'm going to follow my inner knowing that this has got to be done. I hope you understand what that means. Um, so the implementation tool today is to actually listen to yourself. I could be saying that every single day, right? But today it's like this harsh, almost a harsh reality of like, 
Whatever I've been doing isn't working, so now it's time to buckle up, buttercup. And you get kind of strict with yourself, but you do use when you, it's really, this is the part that I love. You get so sick and tired of yourself that you make this declaration, like I'm just gonna do this, this is the goal, I don't know, I wanna lose weight, I wanna get a job, I want a boyfriend, I don't know, whatever it is, that you start to take steps to actually do it. And you're like, I'm sick and tired, I'm doing it today. But what happens, what's so beautiful, is that you allow yourself to be your own guide. Yes, that's what's so beautiful, is that you, <laughs> I don't know. Do you ever get this way? I get this way where it's just like, I'm so sick and tired and I'm like, screw all this. Cause that's today's energy, right? Screw all this. I'm just doing this and whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And that's a matter of surrender and trust into whatever is coming up along your path, whatever doorways, uh, uh, or pathways open up for you. You're just like, fuck it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> all right. So today's one of those days where you kind of put things in the fuck it bucket, but it actually takes you and it moves you. So this is really awesome. It doesn't necessarily feel awesome at first, okay? At first, it just feels more like a chore. You're upset at yourself, you're angry, and then you're like, screw this, I'm doing it, I'm moving ahead, and as you move ahead, it's like you've gathered so much energy and your attention is so focused on something because where attention goes, energy flows, all of a sudden doors start opening for you and you're like, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Because what's going on is you're so angry, you're so frustrated, you're so whatever, that you actually don't listen to that deflated ego part of yourself. How freaking cool is that? Today's a great day. Doesn't start out that way, but it totally ends with you going, I, it's like you, it's like a surrender into anger. <laughs> I don't know how else to say this. You're surrendering into anger and frustration and it ends up being the best thing that you could do because bottom line is you surrender. You've made this announcement to yourself, this declaration, and now all of a sudden you have all of this space to actually manifest and create what it is that you want. So you finally get tired of yourself, which allows you to actually move forward. God, that's so freaking cool. So, so cool. Oh man, when I first started this, you know, when I do readings, the way it works is as I go along more, I download more and more, you know, information. Uh, and the spirit world speaks to me in metaphor. So here I am, I'm interpreting and then I'm translating. So this is not easy work, but that's how it, how it is. And I'm primarily clairsentient, so I feel this information. So I have to make sure I explain this to you the information that I'm feeling in a way that you can connect with. So um, that's what today is like. It's really, it's a really, if you could feel what I'm feeling, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm all riled up. I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. What am I always saying to you guys? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, stay connected to me. If you want to book a reading with me, a one-on-one -on -one reading, you need some guidance. Maybe there's a situation coming up and you're just not sure which direction to go in. You can book that reading with me by checking me out at Terry. Huberman.com, click on the book a reading section and choose what it is that you like. It's super fun. It's super easy. You already know my style, so you already know how this works. And I'd love to be able to help you out. All right, guys? So with all of that being said, I hope everyone has a really great day. And what do I always say? How do I sign off? Because there's another side to all of this. It's called the flip side where everything is okay. So I will see you on the flip side.